Welcome back to Mountain State Wrestling. This is the first match on this great hour of Mountain State Wrestling. We got Joshua Charles in the ring right now. I can tell you, I haven't seen, uh, I haven't seen this kid wrestling yet, but he is out of Calgary, Canada. Michael Cook on this exciting hour of Mountain State Wrestling right here on Network West Virginia. A little open hand slap there, and uh, I don't believe Mr. Cook liked that too much. Referee's out there, and uh, looks like he's. I think there's a little psychological warfare going on out there between Joshua Charles. Michael Cook uh, might may, may even throw the referee in there because uh, Cook's wanting him, wanting to go over and check Cook for, I guess, a foreign object or something. But, uh, you know, the referee found out that he finally collar and elbow tie up, and this match is on the way. Just, I think, a little bit of payback to one Mr. Joshua Charles. Uh, and I believe Michael Cook got a little better slap in there than uh, Charles got in on him, but uh, that's just his announcer's view. Uh, 
Referee trying to get Charles in the middle ring. There's a little breaker up there. And uh, my goodness, Charles just, I think he needs to come up with another plan of attack or something because uh, it seems like everything he's trying to do to Michael Cook is uh, kind of backfiring on him. So uh, he just looks like he's, uh, he's just a little confused at this point, I believe. But, uh, Referee needs to get him back in the ring. We need to get this match on. Once again, uh, Charles walking around the ring. Now he's trying to make his way back in the ring. There he does, and maybe we'll finally get a chance to get some back. Once again, the fans here in Lawrence, West Virginia, are just... Uh, they're just really, they're great wrestling fans here in Lawrence. Can't say enough about it. But uh, there they are, finally, collar and elbow tie up. There's an arm bar, an arm drag, and twist. There he sits it in, sits it in a little more into a hammer lock. Charles trying to look for an escape, and he takes the easy way out, goes over to grab the rope, and forces the break. Michael Cook uh, looked like he wasn't happy about doing it, but uh, went ahead and made the ring break. And Charles getting out of the ring again for a while, I have no idea. Once again, I'd like to welcome everybody to Mountain State Wrestling here on Network West Virginia. We're on uh, every Monday night now. 8 o'clock, that's uh, one hour before uh, Monday Night Raw comes on, so, uh, oh, that was a great throw. That looked like a reverse neck breaker, but uh, Charles was on the outside apron, and uh, Michael Cook was on the inside, and uh, I guarantee you that hurt just a little bit, and there's a big shot. And there's a chop from Charles, and, uh, I believe uh, Cook really laid that one in. There's another one that Charles got. Well, there's a boot to the midsection. There's a, a double thrust to the, looks like a throw. I couldn't really tell. I don't know where I really can't see. But uh, anyway, Cook gets his opponent back in the ring. There's a nice forearm shiver to the side of the noggin there. So. Uh, Joshua Charles did a little bit of trouble, but there he comes with a big knee into the midsection. There goes another chop on Cook. And yet another chop on Cook, and, uh, you know, his chest definitely getting red for all those chops. And, uh, there was a snap there. I don't know what the Charles has got in mind here. Cook's around, and that was a, uh, actually a very well executed drop kick off the top turnbuckle. You don't see that one every day. Anyway, uh, definitely Michael Cook down on that. There's the cover. And uh, Charles did get a two count, but uh, Cook able to kick out. Once again, the Snapmare takeover. And there's a stop to the left. And uh, I guess you call that a reverse DDT of some sort. But anyway, impressive move. Only got a two count. I think Charles had a problem counting the three myself, because uh, he should win. There was a, a big right hand to the head. Michael Cook, leg another cover. Once again, a kick out on two. Charles is thrown up. Once again, another snap there, and there's a rear chip. And I can tell you from experience that uh, when that Rear chin lock is locked in there, and kind of wrenching on the bottom of your chin there, kind of pulls your teeth together, and you know, really puts a lot of pressure on your neck. Uh, it, I mean, there's a lot to pay for. There's a couple of elbows in the midsection, and uh, I think Charles needs a little hair to leverage himself when getting Cook back down to the canvas. And uh, Cook kicking out of one. Uh, Put, put your foot on a man's chest, try to get a pin, just doesn't fall. Uh, now, that 
That was an impressive elbow. Charles gave the kick coming off the rope. Once again, just two count, kick out, back to the rear chin block. Wrestling fans, if uh, you tuned in last week, toward the end of the program, you saw uh, the Bunkhouse boys come out and interfere in the match, calling the Chad Frost, Eric Dillon, the uh, MSW Tag Team Champions, and uh, Joel Danny Ray came out ended up uh, getting a six-man tag team match, which will be the next match coming up here on Mountain State Wrestling this week. But uh, it's going to be a six-man tag, and I, I think there's going to be some issues settled there. There's a sunset flip. Charles is trying to fight it. Finally, he grabs the rope. The referee there he kicks his hand. Finally, he goes down. Took. Only got the two count. Gary ducks the clothesline, there's a turnover. Now that was an impressive move by Cook. There's a big kick right there on the back of the head. Oh, man, to get his foot on the rope, and I really thought that was going to be it. Once again, Cook was an absolutely excellent executed vertical suplex. Once again, uh, he kicks out. Cook is back on his feet, and the forearm sends Charles back into the corner. Goes to Fort Irish with the turnbuckle. Cook reverses it. Oh, and there's the, uh, well, it looks like uh, Chris Benoit. That looks like a uh, wrist lock submission hold. And it is a submission hold. And, uh, 